watching Breakfast Television. It's Monday, and we are an hour ahead. That's right. We're ahead of the game. We are. That's why it's still a little bit dark out right now. But not to worry, the sun will indeed rise. And then you'll be happy. Um, yeah, for today, because then tomorrow I'm off. First of all, I'm going to Winnipeg, and then I'm going to Whale Cove. None of it. Let's bring you back. Let's bring you up to date because it's uh, your, really, your responsibility. That these people are able to do what they can do. Thank exactly. you so much, Breakfast Television viewers. We always say are the best. A few months ago, we met Andrew McFarland via Skype, who's up in Whale Cove. None of it. Yes. Uh, and uh, he had put together a high school hockey team mm -hmm. up in this community of 350 people. It's a very isolated community up on, uh, it's above the tree line. And we talked to him via Skype here. And they were trying to raise $10,000 so that their kids could go south to Geraldton, which is near Thunder Bay, yeah. to play a hockey tournament. Not only did you raise the $10,000 within that day, but you raised twenty. Thousand dollars. I think we have. I think we have a shot of him. Uh, of him talking to us on Skype. Uh, so this was. This was us. What, okay, it was during Movember. Keep that in mind. That's why I am wearing that horrible thing on my upper lip. It looks good, Captain. So there's Andrew and the kids. With you as well. Now. Tell me, tell me the story. Um, Let, let's start from the beginning. Great crew. Looking forward to it. Or am I? You are looking forward to it. You've been talking about it a lot. And it's finally happening. You're going. It's going to take you a while to get there, but it's worth it. Whale Cove. Let me tell you where Whale Cove is. Whale Cove is further away than, say, Orlando. If you flew to Orlando, you would get there before you would get to Whale Cove. I mean, Ooh. yeah. It's do you, don't you have to take two planes? Yeah, well, uh, three, uh, three, planes? three planes. Three planes. Yes. And, and as you progress, the planes get smaller and smaller. Are you okay with that? Yeah, I'm all right. I like small planes. Do I like you? small planes better than big planes. Oh, that's interesting. I do like small planes better than big planes. Uh, Adam has done me a very big favor, and he's, he's even gotten us a forecast. Oh. of what I can look forward to this week. We're there until Saturday, Adam. Yeah, I actually take great joy in talking about the fact that you're leaving this and you're going to be heading all the way up to Whale Cove and you're going to be walking into wind chills that are in the range of minus 58. Yay! That's for Tuesday. The good news is you get there on Wednesday, right, Kev? Yeah. So wind chills are only into the minus 40s oh, at that whew. point. It's going to be beautiful sunshine. The few hours that you're going to be getting that sunshine sun. uh, and then uh, it's going to be warming up as you get toward the end of the week so by Saturday you're right around that minus 20 mark How about do, that do, do we know what it's like in the summer there uh, apparently it's bright it's it's bright for all day you know okay. they, 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 is it warm it's warmer, and they can actually get warmer than us sometimes. You okay. know, you've seen that that little anomaly. I've seen that in the weather forecast. Uh, Adam, yeah. uh, I don't, do they give sun times for uh, for whale cove? Uh, I can look it up. I okay, can, I, can, I, can, I can have to track it down though. I don't. Okay, have it let, let me know because I think it's like the sun's up for about four hours. The question is, do you have a warm? Oh, jacket. Beth and I were out shopping yesterday, not only for the warm jacket, but for the warm undies, the, the, the warm. I got state-of-the-art stuff, apparently. Do you know that there are gloves now that you can heat up the gloves, that you can press a button? I need and, those. Do you need But those? no, Canada okay. Goose, Canada Goose has outfitted me. Okay, great. With so their you, Arctic gear. So you're going to be completely warm. It's with their Arctic gear. It's okay. not just the regular Canada Goose I stuff. I know the Arctic gear. It's the jacket that makes you look like a marshmallow man. That's but okay. it's totally worth it. That is okay. And yeah. I'm going to do my best to uh, to Skype from there. Uh, internet access is very, very, very limited. There's no mm -hmm. cell phone service. Oh. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I will try I and Skype from there. We'll try and You're not you going to be like this the whole time. I need a hashtag, though, from you. Can you please tell Winston, uh, just send us send us okay. your suggestions for hashtags that I could use, and I will pick one. I will use that hashtag. And I'll tell you what, I'll bring you something back from none of it if we choose your hashtag. Aww. So what hashtag should I use? Use at BT Toronto. Send a hashtag. We're going to pick one hashtag, and if we pick yours, then I'll, I'll bring you a souvenir from, from none of it. Aww. Or I'm Winni so glad or you're Winnipeg. doing this. I, 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 I've never, I haven't been to Winnipeg since I was two years old. Oh, I've never been to Winnipeg. Well, there you go. So if you're watching us out in Winnipeg, I'll, I'll be there tomorrow night. I'm glad you're doing it, Kevin. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. So we're going to try and keep in touch on Twitter. We're going to keep in touch with Skype as well. When do you get back? How Saturday. Long do you, and you stay? Saturday. Uh, you and get... I'm going up with the Sportsnet crew. One yes. of the cameramen we're going with has scaled Mount Everest. Oh, so he knows what he's doing. So he's just going to do nothing but laugh at me the entire time. <laughs> Something else that we should do. Laugh at me? No, what? Mount Everest. Oh yes, okay. Would Let's you like do to do it. that with no. me? No, no, I would not like to. No, none of it is as adventurous as I get. I'll do it by myself. Uh, we'll take a break on BT. <laughs> we'll be right back. Who wants to come with me? Stay with us. Mo. <laughs> Mo?